All right, so today we are going to be paying our respects to at least a contender for the title of Super Battle Road King, the Fizz Chao Man with his Dokken Awakening and Extreme Z Awakening now available on Global. Now, uh, before we get into the gameplay, I want to quickly go over his details. So if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. All right, so starting with his... Leader skill, it's Fizz types, keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage to all enemies while sacrificing 10% HP. And his passive is attack plus 100% and defense plus 200%, plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack, medium chance of performing a critical hit, and then key plus 10 plus an additional attack plus 300% when HP is 50% or less once only. And his links are in Fighter, Telekinesis, Courage, Telepathy, Fuse Fighter, Over in a Flash, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Fusion, Crossover, and Final Trump Card. And as you will notice, he currently has no skill orbs and his links are only about halfway there, so not close to maxed out. So he definitely could be even better than uh, what you see in this video. So that is the Fizz Chow Man, and in this video we are running the uh, fusion only stage of Super Battle Road with, of course, a fusion team. On this first rotation, we got the Chow Man linked with the Int Pandel, starting with 147,000 defense, which is not bad. It's not bad, not amazing, but definitely decent. And let's give these guys a few orbs and see what they can do. Alright, here we go. First attack. Tanking the normals very, very well. And getting just over 3.2 mil attack stat. There's a crit. There's another crit. Additional attack. <clears throat> no additional super there, but very good damage against both the Yamu and the Spopovich. Now, I'm really hoping that the LR... Ooh, Pandel getting some good dodges in there. Um, The LR Goku and Vegeta. I was going to say... I hope they get a super, or get, take a super, so that we can actually get below 50% HP. So hopefully in this rotation, we take a few supers, and you know, actually take some good damage, because I want you guys to see what this Chow Man can do when you actually fall below 50%. And now that I'm thinking about it, it might have been a better idea to actually uh, run Extreme Super Battle Road, because it would have been much easier to reach that mark, right? Because you take a lot more damage in Extreme Super Battle Road. Okay, so we took some good damage there, but nothing crazy. I'm hoping that maybe Weirus will actually get hit for a lot. Ooh, maybe not. Come on, take a super, please. Damn it. All right, well, it looks like that's gonna do it, guys. Uh, we should be able to finish off the Yamu with, uh, well, this rotation, but I think maybe Chow Man himself will get it done. Okay, there's a super. And we should be below 50%, but I believe you have to be below 50% at the beginning of the turn. So, yeah, it doesn't count. Sadly, it does not count. But on the bright side, um, for the next turn, we can literally just use, like, a... Uh, Icarus or something like that to make sure we don't die and then stay below the 50% mark and we actually might clear out this entire field with just the Chow Man himself so here we go uh, I'm gonna see how we can not recover too much HP here uh, let's do get those for the friend uh, I'm gonna give just the AGL orbs to the tech Goku and Vegeta, and then we'll give, yeah, that's fine, we'll give these to my Goku and Vegeta. And with the Icarus active, I think we should be fine as far as um, tanking goes. I am a little bit concerned about maybe, you know, multiple supers from multiple enemies, but I don't think it will die. I don't think we'll die. We. We could, still, which would suck. But we should be okay. We should be okay. Alright, here we go. 
So yeah, tanking that normal quite well. This might hurt a bit. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We're fine. And uh, yeah, the next turn is going to be a good one. The next turn is going to be a very good one. All right. You guys are not ready for this. I mean, unless you have seen. Wow, that was close. That was really close. Okay, we should be good. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to give these to Chow Man. You know what, actually? Uh, let me see if I can get like a good amount of orbs for the Weirs. Okay, let's give these to uh, Pandel so we can get these. Yeah, for the Weirs. That's going to be some support there as well. And we're getting supered, but it shouldn't hurt that much. we do like 3k, okay. And we are getting 7.8 mil. <laughs> <laughs> for the jail man and there goes everybody okay so that's what i was excited to show you guys man i mean we got really close to dying it's actually kind of great oh no for a second i was like how did we only remain alive with one hp like unless it was the most insane coincidence which i don't think is the case um but then I realized, Chow Man, yeah, hurts you for 10% HP. So, we were already below 10%, got hurt for 10%, but we can't die on the super. So, that's why uh, we now have 1 HP. So, yeah, that's fun. That is a good time, but I'm uh, definitely <laughs> off this Aider right here to heal back up. And uh, defensively, I think everyone is okay on this rotation, to be honest. So... Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it as is. Let's go for the Kid Buu with the Super Saiyan 4. Let's go for Kid Buu again, I guess, with the uh, Is LR, and then for the Tech LR, same thing, Kid Buu. We might take out Kid Buu this turn, maybe not. Um, I wouldn't mind if we took a couple of Supers here. <sighs> Damn, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I just had to counter when I don't want him to actually counter. And of course, when I do want him to counter, he's not going to counter. It's just, just how it goes, man. That's just how it goes. It's fine. Not a big deal. Additional Super 2. Hopefully, we still get to see at least one more Super from the Chow Man. I wouldn't mind if he, you know, just uh, did some cleanup work and finished off the booze on the next rotation. But it doesn't seem like we're actually going to see another... Um, you know, boosted super with the uh, close to 8 mil attack stat. But you guys saw it once. You guys know what's up. You guys know what he's capable of. And that's why I say, you know, this guy might be the new king of Super Battle Road. It's hard to make an argument for him over SDRLR Broly, for sure. But I think he's up there, man. He's He's got to be at least like top 2, top 3 for the best super battle road units in the game right now i mean he's just very very dominant and if you are able to you know consistently fall below 50 percent and give him that boost i mean that is just a ridiculous boost uh wow okay that was some that was some damage right there okay so hold on if i actually play this correctly if I play my cards right, I can maybe keep the Boo alive for one more turn while staying alive ourselves. And then, uh, yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's pop an Icarus. Let's do, I guess I have to give a super to the Super Saiyan 4, but then we can just give one orb to the LR. So there is a slight chance that the... That boo could stay alive, although it's pretty unlikely. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't see it happening. I think that's going to be it, guys. That's going to do it. This will definitely kill him. Or at least it should. If it doesn't, that'd be great. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. I got excited for a second. I got excited for a second. But there you go, guys. That is <laughs> the Fizz Chow Man. Super Battle Road showcase uh definitely very much deserving of our respect um do i think he is the new super battle road king probably not probably not but you can't deny that he is 
amazing. I mean, close to 8 mil for just this random, you know, collab EZA for a unit that came out like three, four years ago, I think at this point is, uh, it's quite impressive. It's quite impressive. This guy hits super, super hard and he's just a lot of fun to use, man. He's a lot of fun to run. The only issue is that of course he does hurt you for 10% HP with every super, but it works very well with his passive because you want to actually fall below the 50% threshold to get the most out of him and his super attack hurting you actually helps you with that quite a bit. So in that sense, he's actually a very well-designed unit. And uh, there you go, guys. That is the Fizz Chow Man on Super Battle Road. An absolute legend in my books. Let me know in the comments down below where you would rank him in your list of best Super Battle Road units. And uh, like I said, to me, he's top two, top three at worst. Probably just behind the... LR Broly and maybe LR Nappa and Vegeta. Maybe. And that's it. That is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.